So you are here to do extraordinary things. So why are you holding back, girlfriend? It's time to own your power, own your greatness, and reach your highest potential. On this episode of La Dolce Vita, the formula for fabulous living, my guest shares her formula on reaching your power and your true potential. So stay tuned. Frankie Lee, dimmi, quale senza della vita? The meaning of life is to live la dolce vita, which is the formula for fabulous living. Hi, my name is Heather Picken, and welcome to the La Dolce Vita Show, the formula for fabulous living. I'm the catalyst in helping you to be more confident, create your dream business, and attract elite clients, and live a fabulous life. Here's Heather, helping you to upgrade your life to fabulous. Upgrade your life to fabulous, right, Frankie? You're fabulous. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of La Dolce Vita, the formula for fabulous living. Yes, every time I say that, I pretend that I'm Italian, and fun fact here, for those that don't know, I used to live in Italy for a short period of time, and I I just love the culture, the food, and, and just really being able to experience that, and so how I really perceived, you know, that whole experience is that there's there's a formula for enjoying your life. And what I love doing is breaking down the formula, the success formula in your business and in your life. And today I have my guest, Tatiana Amico, crossing my fingers that I said that <laughs> correctly. And she's going to be talking about the formula to really uh, really live at your highest potential. You know, we're talking about specifically women's issues in your business and in your life. And I know I work with a lot of women that uh, really don't live up to their highest potential. They're second guessing themselves. They're beating themselves up. So I think this is a real important topic because if you have a business and you have that ongoing dialogue, I'm not good enough. It shows up physically. It shows up emotionally and it definitely shows up in your bank account. So Tatiana, thank you so much for being my guest today. Thank you so much for having me. And before we dive into this subject, can you share with our viewers and listeners a little bit about your background and how you help people? Yeah. So I, for the majority of my life, I struggled a lot with my own health, eating, weight loss, up and down, I call myself a professional yo-yo dieter because I literally did everything out there. And I finally, I just made a decision one day that I didn't want to live my life like that anymore. And I started learning, learning how to actually fuel my body right. And not only that, just take action on it, which is something I will talk about later. But so I decided that enough was enough and I started taking control and I learned a lot and I became very, very passionate about it. Um, I wanted to help other women who had gone through what I had gone through or going through what I was going through, all the ups and downs, all the emotions, everything that goes along with that. And I started a business doing that. I became a certified health coach and I learned a lot along the way that it wasn't just about feeding your body right and exercise. There's so much more involved and it's that mental and emotional side. So now I'm actually really, really passionate about that. Just the whole, all of it, it's all encompassing and just really wanting women to know that they can do anything that is that they, they truly desire that they want in their lives. So that is exactly what I do now. I love that. And I can relate to your story because I was reading it. I uh, was hearing that you had some eating disorders and I know a lot of women have that. I know I had it. I had anorexia. And what was really interesting is I went on a journey to actually research it when I was in high school, uh, wrote a paper about it and really healed myself. So 
you know, the wisdom and educating yourself and realizing that there's a formula to, you know, kind of understand, identify what those emotional issues are. And then of course have a strategy. And that actually led me to compete in bodybuilding, uh, winning Miss Midwest States natural fitness figure. And it was such a healthy way for me to uncover my own formula that made me unique because our voids drive our values. Whatever we perceive missing, we really want to focus on that. So let's talk about that emotional component and how it also ties into like uh, business. So uh, I work with a lot of women that uh, they don't feel like they're very confident and therefore they put on weight, they feel fed up, they feel frustrated. And it all starts with, you know, their, their emotions, that emotional component. So can you speak to that? Like getting inside of you know, the, the, the minds of those women out there that are really, you know, dealing with those issues. For sure. And I think the biggest thing for me it was awareness. Like for a long time, I just had no idea. I was, I didn't realize that all of my quote unquote issues were emotion based that I was basically just shoving them down and not, you know, realizing what was going on. I wasn't aware of any of this. I, I wasn't aware of why I was eating the way I was or why I, I mean, I had the anorexia. I didn't even realize that that's what it was until later on. Cause I just refused to, to believe it. Um, so for me, it's just a, a big awareness. It's all about awareness. I talk a lot about journaling, being a coach. I ask a lot of questions and I think some people are like, just tell me what to do. I like, girl, it doesn't work that way. Like we need to figure out what's going on. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? Why aren't you doing the things that you know you need to be doing? And again, it really comes down to that and taking action. I talk about that a lot. I think taking action is where we just, we really will fly, fly, we'll soar, we'll learn so much. Yeah. I agree. And really getting to the root cause. I know some of the issues that uh, were really rooted in that is I had a pattern of attracting men that uh, were really not uh, the best fit for me. And so what happened is I, you know, I I would uh, go on these, uh, you know, crazy yo-yo diets. I was actually, when I didn't know how to compete properly, I uh, was was doing a lot of cardio and eating like 500 calories. And so yeah. what happened is that my metabolism started slowing down and it, you know, had metabolic damage. I, I researched that and was finding out all these things that were going on, but the catalyst, the whole thing, it really was stemming to a deeper issue yeah. with men. And I find a lot of women, if they're not in a great relationship or they don't feel like they have the confidence, you know, they, they need to kind of unpeel the layer of an onion. And I love what you're saying about asking empowering questions, like really asking the questions. So what are some of those questions that you ask women to really get to the root of the problem so that they can stop doing emotional eating or starving themselves? A lot of times it's really just starting with a why and just digging deeper into that reason why. Because I always say in order to really make a change, I, I get asked a lot uh, how I stay motivated and how to have motivation. And for me, it's, it is because I have dug deep. I've peeled the layers and I ask why. Why do I want whatever it is that I want? Okay, why is that? Why is that? And really getting deep on that level that has been huge for me. That has been huge for my clients. And I mean, any, any, anyone that really needs to figure out what's going back or holding them back. I really think that just saying why is such a Mm. powerful, powerful question and powerful thing to think about. Absolutely. Like I can relate it to business. If, you know, someone doesn't have a mission statement, a vision of how they want their business to be and why that's important, they're not going to take the daily action steps. Just like if you want to get in better shape, you want to get healthier and you know it's going to help your business, but you're not taking the action, then it's, it's going to be hard to do it on your own. It's going to be hard to come from inspiration, which is that driving force 
you know, that's inside of you. So I, I think that's really important to, to get to the root of it, understand what their why is. And, you know, another thing is also talk about what women need to do on a daily basis, because it's those habits that create success over time that can start changing their body, changing their mind, changing their life. So what are some of the strategies that you help women in that aspect? Sometimes it really is just getting up, doing something good for yourself, like, right, like having a great, I'm very big into like green smoothies, just feeding your body really, really well. I think that that's so important because that can bring confidence just because you know you're doing something good for yourself. So I say just make sure that you're feeding your body right with whole foods, uh, no diet, like no crash diets or anything like that. Just really feed your body with whole nutrient dense foods. Again, that's why I'm a huge fan of green smoothies because it's just bam. Yes. Um, moving your body in some way. I think it's so important also to look at it and okay, I'm doing this because I love my body. My body is amazing and I want to do good things for it, like nourish it with good stuff, move it because we just feel so good. The endorphins, um, our creativity is like, you know, for me, like when I, that's when I have my best thoughts yeah. <laughs> while I'm working out. I'm like, oh, I need a recorder. Uh, but yeah, just really making sure that you are doing some things every day to make yourself feel better. And mm -hmm. I do a lot of, I talk a lot about working on your mindset. So doing, listening to something empowering like a podcast or watching a video or reading a book or listening to a book. But those are my three biggest things for every day to be doing something to I love that. It, you mentioned the green smoothie. I'm, I'm a big fan of the green smoothie. Is it, it, it does feel good in moving your body because, you know, if we tie this back to female entrepreneurs, we can get into the trap of sitting at your computer, working all day, not moving. And, you know, that takes you to the evening. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I am, I, I feel like so stressed. I feel so like closed off. And I know when I, when I talk to women, entrepreneurs that have like some weight issues, I, I asked them the question. I said, if you had your ideal body, would you bring in more business? And they say, yes, because it's not just one area. It's not just helping them to fix their finances and their marketing strategy, but empowering all seven areas of their life. So I, I love what you're saying about having that routine, balancing your mind. So let's go a little bit further, breaking down the formula. So let's just say we've got our daily routine. What are some of the um, things that women can do, let's just say, if they find themselves getting emotional, you know, they have what I call their freak out moment, and then they want to turn to food, or maybe they even had something and they start beating themselves up. So what are some of the strategies or things that you can tell your clients that they should be doing? So two big things, I think, is one, to start asking yourself those questions because having a coach is amazing because I mean, I even need a coach. I think it's important to have someone asking me those questions and the accountability, but even being able to ask ourselves those questions. So empowering ourselves to ask those questions, maybe journaling if you want to, or even recording on your phone or doing something, but getting it out there, getting the feelings out there, what you're feeling and being true, being real and being true is super important because I think a lot of times for me, I would kind of block that stuff. I wouldn't want to say it or write it down, but I think it's important to definitely do that. I talk a lot about brain dumping, just get it all out there. The second thing is I would not be where I am without the community that I have, the support, the women. Um, and honestly, it's mainly online. It's mainly yeah. online that I found these, all these amazing people that are on the same journey as me when it comes to health, when it comes to my business, when it comes to anything in my life, right? So actually, I'm going to be honest, this morning I woke up and I had a moment of and not talking very nicely to myself. And that's what I did first thing I did. I actually posted in a group and I was like, listen, I know what I need to be doing, but someone needs to reiterate it to me. Um, so I think it's important to, yes, to know how to kind of coach ourselves, but mm -hmm. also to reach out for support because we are, women need tribes. Like I am just, yes. we need tribes and we need that support and help. And of course, 
having face to face with people that you can even just going out somewhere, going out to eat, going for a walk or something can be very, very helpful for me. I love that. And it's so true what you said about getting support. And I want women to really listen to this message that, you know, we don't have perfect days. There are days where we wake up. I know for myself going, oh my gosh, I'm having a bad hair day. Or I just, you know, I'm so in my head about something. And so having the tools to either coach yourself is very powerful, reaching out for support. That's why I have a strong belief and power in getting coaching, investing in your inspiration, whether it be your business and your health, because let's just say you have a great business, but your health is failing. You know, your, your health is your wealth. It, it, they are tied together yes. And when you're disempowered in one area of your life, then someone or something will overpower it. So you might as well focus on empowering in all seven areas. So yeah. that's, that's so important to invest because if you don't invest in your, yourself, whether let's just say if you have a health issue, which is impacting your business, then you're not going to be able to focus, right? Mm-hmm. You're about getting creative. You're not going to be able to serve your clients. You're just going to be uh, locked, you know, kind of deadlocked. And I, I've seen this, I've seen this in so many women where they have these health challenges and they're not being true to themselves, you know? So I, I feel that when you're true to yourself, that's when, you know, you, you can actually have healing in your body and in your life. So let, let's talk about how, you know, emotions play a role in the psyche of, of a woman, you know, in, in how she's living day to day and getting the results that she wants. Yeah. I mean, I know again, (laughs) when my emotions are, when stuff is going on, I am definitely not at my best. I'm not feeling it. And when it comes to all areas, right. When it is my business, when it is relationships, even the way I talk to my kids and just random people on the street. So I mean, it is important to recognize what's going on and then start to do something about it. I mean, I like to, I don't like to sit. I know it's important to, it's okay to have negative emotions. We're human. It's going to happen. I don't like to sit in that for too long because I used to, and I wouldn't do anything about it in the past. And it just led to this, not such good times. So now I, you know, again, it's important for me to become aware of them and then feel them, feel them. That's something I'm working on a lot and then take action. But I do want to say exactly what you said. I will never not have a coach. I will never not have a coach. I, I need a coach at all times. I just think it's super important to have that again, to invest in yourself. The moment you invest in yourself, it's like you're showing yourself that you, you know, you deserve to take care of you. And I just think that that's, that's so powerful. That's so empowering. So very important for sure. It it really is. And I want to expand on that thought because I really want women that are listening to understand when you're hiring someone to help you, let's say not just in your business, you have a business, but the health aspect, your business will grow, Mm -hmm. you know, and, and, I personally, I've had a coach in relationships, like all of these aspects of of my life and business. And I will have to tell you, my income has skyrocketed because I invested in myself, even when the times like years ago when I didn't have the money, but I made it so important that I did not want to go down that path. I did not want to reverse, you know, go in reverse and get emotional because, you know, if we know how to balance our emotions, like I like what you're saying that, you know, you're not going to wake up every day feeling a hundred percent positive and I will never, ever promote just being happy because that, that is just crazy making, you know, we, you were saying, you know, feeling into your emotions because we have to honor those emotions. That is actually a feedback mechanism to us to say, wait a minute, am I being true to myself? Am I pulling myself in all these different directions and, and the emotions balancing your emotions is really critical because now we know through epigenetics, it tags your physiology, manifesting dis-ease in the body, cancer, I mean, you name it, autoimmune yeah. diseases. So I, you know, I think this conversation that we're having is so important. Like this is the critical path. You know, if you want to be successful in any area of your life, you, you have to feel good about yourself, right? You For have sure. to care 
of, of the, the inside first and then everything else catches up. So I was wondering if you could share, I love stories. I think stories just really connect us to kind of getting an idea of where people were and where they are now. So if you could share a, 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 a client uh, story of how you help them deal with, you know, emotional eating issues and, and, the, and yeah. those sorts of things. Yeah, I have, I have one client who, she's the perfect kind of perfect example of someone that didn't think that she could, didn't think that she was deserving or worthy of taking care of herself, a mom, someone that was taking care of not just her kids, but just everyone in general, like you name it. She thought that she had to take care of them and she was putting herself on the back burner. And she had, she actually became my client and really didn't do anything. And, you know, I kept checking in and I was like, you know, what's going on? How are you doing? But I kept making sure to check in on her and she finally something must have clicked and she finally realized I need to take control. I need to know that I am worthy. I need to stop putting everyone first all the time and I need to take care of myself. And she ended up losing in a very healthy way. I want to make sure and say this because I think it was like 40 pounds over months, like six months, no, probably longer than that from like March, March through the end of the year. And she's amazing and she's kept it going, right? Love it. And she, yeah. So it wasn't just some random like crash diet or anything like that. Like she did it the right way, but it was when she had that moment of, I am deserving. I need to take care of myself and I'm going to do it. And she never looked back and it's been really cool to watch her. She's actually a huge inspiration for me now. I love that I get inspired by my clients yes. now all the time and they'll like, they'll help me out and it's awesome. But yeah, it's just really cool to see a woman go through that from, you know, investing in herself, but not realizing how much she deserves to be taking care of herself to finally realizing, oh my gosh, I need to do this. I deserve this. And then just doing it and, and keeping it up and keeping it going and now even inspiring others. And it's just a really cool mm. thing to be a part of for sure. I, I love that. And, and it's so great. You know, the person, she becomes someone different. She's inspiring you. It's a ripple effect. If she has children, she's yeah. making an impact in her family, oh, yeah. in her community. And it's just, you know, to me, it's, it's so powerful. You know, the aspect of, helping someone to feel better about themselves and so that their whole life will change and, and do whole life through, through coaching and mentoring and, you know, telling people that they can do it. Cause I, I just think that's what it's all about and living, living this whole conversation is about living to your highest potential. Cause I always look at it this way. If this was my last day on earth, you know, yeah. do I want to look back and say, you know, wow, I wish I would have done this. I right. wish I would have, you know, really pushed myself harder. And a lot of times, I know you know this with the, with the women that you're coaching, is that they'll put themselves last. Mm -hmm. And instead of really focusing on, wait a minute, I got to take care of myself before I can take care of anyone else, before I can take care of my family. And, you know, I think that's so important. So I just appreciate that message. Yeah. I mean, that's basically my tagline is time to put yourself first because I saw it a lot growing up. Um, women not, you know, not taking care of themselves and putting everyone before them. And I saw what would happen. And I just, I made a decision that, that I would never let that happen. And I don't think it's selfish at all. I think it's actually selfless to, really take care of you because everyone benefits. Everyone does. But you are so right about that. That's one of my biggest fears, right? It, my fears used to be the what ifs, like thinking I would fail and all of that. But now it's no, what if I don't do something and I, you know, it, I don't want to have regrets, right? I want to live my life. I want to do all these things that I dream of, right? And it's so important for us to take chances on ourselves. So important. And with that, I think is where the confidence comes, right? That's when I get my most confidence is when I actually do things 
do the yes. scary thing. <laughs> I, I love that. And, and talk about living to your highest potential. One of the things that I work with clients is teaching them how to set goals that are aligned with their highest values. Because when you do that and you're not creating some fantasy goal, yeah. you will actually set up, you, you will set bigger goals for yourself. You'll accomplish them. And then you'll jump to another sphere of awareness in your mind, showing up as a leader in your life. I don't care if you're a stay at home mom or if you're a businesswoman, it's really important to value yourself enough and set those goals that aren't fantasy. Like, you know, the, the, you know, lose 20 pounds in two weeks when right. you gain it back and then some, right. you know, we've all been there. So, uh, before we go today, uh, this is such a great conversation and I really want women to listen, not only listen to this message, internalize it, and start taking action, taking action on what you need to be doing for yourself first. So Tatiana, uh, where can people learn more about you and your work? Uh, if you go to my site, tatianaamico.com, lots of information there. Of course, social media, Facebook, Tatiana Amico Health Coach. Instagram is just Tatiana Amico. And I also do have a free Facebook community healthy, happy, empowered women.com. Because again, to me, that's where, you know, you just, you have to be around those women that are on the same journey as you and for that support and everything. So I love that. And for those people that are watching us over on the video, or if you're on iTunes, there are links uh, to Tatiana's stuff. So I know her name might be <laughs> not the easiest to, to remember how to type in there. So you just click on the link and you can get her information. Tatiana, thank you so much for being my guest today and being empowering and inspiring women out there. Thank you so much. And I just want to close out this show today is that, you know, you have a genius inside of you that's just waiting to come out. There is a formula for success in business, in every area of your life. And, you know, I'm just here to tell you, get a mentor, get someone that has your back, invest in your inspiration because it will become your biggest asset and really help you to live your La Dota Vida life. Until next time, this is Heather Pickin. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. So if you found this show to be fabulous, please share with your fabulous friends, rate, review, and subscribe on YouTube and iTunes. Wow. I'll make sure I take a beatbox lesson, right? <laughs> or give my little chihuahua a bone. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Fabulous. <laughs>